Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy and today we're going to talk a little bit about Blissey. Now, I know I'm a little bit behind, but I was out of state when they announced Blissey and I just didn't really have the opportunity to make a video, but I'm happy to do that now. So we're going to talk about Blissey, the moves, and ultimately I just want to give my thoughts. So I want this to be a little bit less about the actual Pokemon itself and more so about like what I think the implication will be and maybe even what I think like a potential build or uh, what abilities I think you should take. So I am looking at an info sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and link this into the description. So shout out to It's Galix for putting this together because it just makes this really, really simple for me. So I'll show it here on the screen and then I'll, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, let's go over Blissey. So Blissey is a melee support and uh, they're kind of listed with like, you know, like pretty decent endurance and strong supporting. So the uh, passive ability is, I think this is the passive ability, removes all status conditions from the Pokemon. This ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. So Blissey essentially is gonna be like, you know, a little bit harder to kill. So it looks like it's like, it, the support and the tank role are so interesting because they kind of like lean into each other a little bit. Like tanks have a lot of utility, but don't really bring a lot of that supporty nature per se, like in terms of shielding and healing and things while supports are decently tanky and they do bring a little bit more of that utility and a little bit less CC in general so um, tanks and support very a, a very f kind of flowing um, set of you know like battle types or classes or roles uh, together so um, as for the boosted attacks just becomes a boost attack after a set amount of time passes uh, dealing increased damage so that one is is interesting I guess she just charges a boosted attack based on the wording either that or it could be like a a mistype or something like that, but interesting boosted attack. We'll have to see how that works. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about her levels one through three moves. So she gets pound and heal pulls pound, has the user attack by pounding in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. So nice little little mini CC with uh, some, some early game damage. So that'll be good for trying to secure like your Audino or your Corefish, wherever uh, lane that you're going. As for healing pulse, continually restores the user and designated ally Pokemon HP for a short time. So nice little heal, can't help, you know, can't hurt with that in the early game. So. Level 4 Blissey will evolve from Chansey up to Blissey, and uh, you'll have the option to pick Helping Hand or Egg Bomb. So Helping Hand is for a short time greatly increase the user nearby ally Pokemon's movement speed and basic attack speed. While this unite or while this move's effect lasts, all of the user's basic attacks become boosted attacks. Upgrade increases the damage of basic attacks while this move effects last. So very, very interesting helping hand. An egg bomb is hurls an egg at the designated uh, location. The egg then explodes, dealing damage at opposing uh, to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and throwing them. So nice little CC there. Upgrade also decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time when they are thrown by this move. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. These two abilities sound really, really good. Uh, Blissey having some nice long range damage or some decent range damage. That is a CC because it's like it acts as a knock up. That's usually what throwing, you know, means in this game and then uh, decreases their movement speed on the upgrade but helping hand depending on how effective helping hand could be could be very very strong uh, where you're basically just buffing a nearby allies movement speed and basic attack speed like giving that to someone like Greninja or Lucario or Cinderace is gonna be terrifying and then the in the uh, upgrade is makes you do more damage so uh, yourself so both really really good uh, offensive uh, options here uh, one a little bit more supporting in nature and then the other um, you know kind of playing into Blissey herself with uh, Egg Bomb so really really interesting stuff I think that either one could end up being viable Egg Bomb it, it really just depends on how it feels and and how effective these abilities you know come out to be by the time we actually uh, uh, get to play them but Helping Hand could be meta defining with the the support that you bring to your teammates, whether it be offensively or defensively, just by giving them some extra move speed. Uh, but Egg Bomb could be insanely strong as well. So level six moves, we're gonna have Heal Bell, which removes all status conditions from the designated ally Pokemon and makes them immune to hindrances for a short time. Upgrade also grants the designated Pokemon ally Pokemon a shield. Or we have Soft Boiled, which throws a egg at an ally Pokemon, restoring its HP as well as the user's um, so, you know, it's a dual heal, essentially. A heal for your teammate, heal for yourself. A maximum of three uses can be kept in, in reserve for this move. Upgrade increase the maximum number of uses, uh, or users that can be kept. Or no, it is uses <laughs> that can be kept in reserve for this move. So again, another couple of great options, because honestly, heal bell, removing hindrances is 
crazy. Or no, removing status conditions while making them immune to hindrances is kind of crazy. I can already see like a helping hand heal bell kind of build where you're just buffing allies the whole time. Uh, but soft boiled is really, really strong too because you have a bunch more uh, like heals that you get to throw out. And and honestly, I, I kind of personally think that soft boiled is gonna end up being a little bit more meta because it's a heal. Like that's what you really want out of a support, especially if they have it, you wanna use those heals for those team fights where you're just, you know, chunking it at your teammates and then whenever it gets upgraded you can carry more so it's like really really strong so uh, we'll see heal bell again sounds really really good you give your teammate a shield on upgrade uh, you remove status conditions from them and then you make them immune to cinder like cc which is hindrances in this game really crazy actually uh, for the unite move we have bliss assistance now this has the user dash to the designated ally pokemon to give them an egg granting that pokemon a shield and increasing its attack and sp attack for a short time the user also intercepts a portion of the damage received by that Pokemon for a short time. While dashing, the user throws nearby opposing Pokemon that it comes in contact with. So this character is a very, I want to pick an ally or allies and I want to focus on supporting them. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Blissey sounds like they could be pretty aggressive, like like very imposing. I'm I I'm, I I don't want to say I'm worried. That's not the right term, but I do think that Blissey's kit in general, with all of these abilities, sounds very very strong. I mean, we obviously don't know. We have to wait and see. But I could really see someone like running forward like like literally like running forward towards your your enemies and then turning around using bliss assistance where you kind of like spin around and dash to your teammate you knock up everybody in your path as you were dashing backwards towards your teammate you then throw on a helping hand on them and then have soft boiled ready to support so it's like I don't know, I could just see like the Cinderace, Greninja, Blissey meta like already starting to form in my mind. I mean, Cinderace and Greninja already kind of dominating the jungle and Blissey now being a healer that can support that is really crazy. Like if you're giving increased attack from the Bliss Assistance ult, which gives them a shield, and then you're also throwing Helping Hand on them, which makes them move faster, increases um, your own damage and increases their attack speed. Like, this is a kind of terrifying upcoming meta, and that's really the implication of what I wanted to talk about. I think that Blissey is naturally gonna be very, very strong because of the the assistance that it brings. Uh, the the other thing about this too is that like I don't necessarily think that that Blissey has to take over the top support spot, but could also work in double support comps where you're running Blissey Wigglytuff or uh, Blissey Aldegoss for a ton of healing. And it really just depends on what kind of team comp you want to run um, and how you want to make this work. So really, really interesting stuff with Blissey here. I think that this kit looks insanely strong to me again you can never really tell and it's all just kind of like you know at a glance but I think that this looks really fun as well um, as for my take on like Blissey versus Blastoise for me personally as a jungle main I don't really care which one comes out but also just as a MOBA player like I'm excited for anything that comes out in the game and any new content that they're able to add so we know Blastoise is probably gonna come out next month with the release of mobile so it could be really any time of the month hopefully not like the final week or anything uh, maybe the, the first two weeks or so, hopefully, uh, but also, yeah, just great stuff. I mean, we're, we're getting a new Pokemon tomorrow, which is like about the center of the month, so maybe we can expect that Blastoise will come out in like the middle of next month, and adding characters to the roster, especially for the support and for the defender role, is really, really healthy, so I'm very, very excited. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What build are you going to run? Actually, let's talk about items really quickly, because I see a, a glaringly easy build to take so before we take off. Now, you can drop this in the comments down below as well. What items do you think Blissey will take? But EXP share, Buddy Bear, Barrier, focus band, uh, wise glasses, buddy barrier, focus band. Like these are going to be really, really good builds. You know, we do we do know that the upcoming patch is not going to change anything for items uh, per se. So we'll have to wait and see what that feels like. But ultimately, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm really, really interested to see it. So as always, friends, be sure to be kind to one another. Tell someone that you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.